Hi, it's David at Fixer Frame at Mount Cravat and uh, I'm under a bit of pressure yet again to come up with uh, a frame for a signed boxing glove. In fact, we've got a pair of them to do. They're going to go into separate frames and uh, it's for a charity event. It's signed um, by uh, Shane Webke, uh, who's a former Brisbane Broncos player, and Andrew G, also the Broncos, and uh, Tyrone uh, the Cyclone Tongia. And he had a fundraiser um, last year where these guys fought each other. And um, so then they've signed the gloves and now it's going to an event where they're going to fundraise for um, Islander communities. And so the event is tomorrow night and uh, we've got to get this finished today. We've only just received the gloves. Again, like we're always under pressure at Fix the Frame. People drop us stuff in and uh, yeah, we've just got to get it done. So what we've done is printed um, a couple of little photos. The photo here are the guys, um, uh, the two guys that have signed the gloves and Tyrone, the uh, in, in the centre and um, we've printed up a copy of the fight card from last time and what we're going to do is we're going to frame those things all together. So I've already, we, we've been thinking there's a few complicated uh, areas that we need to deal with given the, 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 the thickness of the glove and it won't just fit in an ordinary um, picture frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to build a deep frame. Now I've already started. Uh, I've mounted, we're, we're doing something where we're going to have a suede, um, a black suede board around uh, the two photos. So we're going to have the little photo down the bottom. Now I've mounted that onto um, adhesive foam board and normally I'd probably put this as two separate pieces and then we'd build it up inside but I've decided to do it this way so that we're going to have some reinforcement to hold this suede board together because we're going to glue that onto the back of the suede and that will be the front of um, the gloves and then the glove is going to go in here and then with the other glove we're going to swap it around we'll put the other glove in the uh, right hand side and we'll put the picture in the left but with this one anyway it's going to be like this and what was decided was that we're going to put the glove itself onto um, some of the art care red suede and so the glove is going to be stitched on to the suede the suede is going to line all inside the box and then we're going to have to put it into a picture frame so the frame that we've actually come up with we've we've made it from two moldings we've actually got a deep box frame but this will not encompass the whole of the gloves so what we've done is we've built an extension piece from another molding and we've cut that side on so we've got a little bit of a, a deep section there and what's going to happen the two frames one is going to fit inside the other so we get that depth that depth happening so basically big deep frame we're going to have the suede I'll put that in there just now to give you a quick look, pre-look at how it's going to go. The suede's going to go in here, the black one. Then the glove is going to sit back on the inside there. Don't even think I can hold it. But yeah, the glove's going to sit back in there and that's going to be on red suede. So join me while I do this. We'll take a few shots as we go along. If you've got any questions, just uh, fly us an email. And uh, if, you, if you need anything framed like this, come and see Fix the Frame at Mount Cravat. So this one has, I've already mounted these down, like we've glued it on there. And this is a peel and a stick uh, self-adhesive. So I'm going to put that into place right now. Then we can not worry about that any further. And just down the center joint, we're going to pop a little bit of tape. We're actually in our workshop, so we've got compressors going off, we'll have telephones going off. There'll be quite a bit of background noise. We're not in some film set or anything. We're actually showing you the real deal, and this is how we work. So I just want to put in a little bit of an extra um, double-sided tape in along behind these images. And the reason for that is that the I don't want any lifting of the narrow section 
of the suede board and we're going to back the whole thing up. I mean it's going to be reinforced from behind quite significantly uh, with um, 10 millimetre foam board that we're going to mount suede onto and then we're going to build cross struts to hold the whole thing in place. But this is just the first part where we were just fitting the actual photographs to the front matting. So we just line it up. We actually did the uh, we did a pair of shorts and gloves for Tyrone before, so we already had his logo because we've created these graphics. Uh, we've used his fight card, but then we've edited that back and we've also been given the photograph and then we've actually added the, the people's names, made the Cyclone branding on this, so it will be a unique piece. This is a one-off piece, so whoever actually gets it at auction. Tyrone is well on the way to probably becoming a world champion one day, and uh, he's, a, he's an Australian champion, the light middleweight boxing champion at the moment. So uh, fantastic young guy, great boxer, and he does a lot for his community. So yeah, that's gonna be the front part. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount some suede onto some of the adhesive boards. We'll pop some of these other pictures and the other glove away and uh, come back in a sec and have a look at how I get it ready to go into the frame. So even before we uh, get into putting the thing together, I'm just going to put these two frames together. And the way I've done that, I've cut this other piece up on the vertical so that we've got a ledge where we can run some glue. I'm just going to run a little bead of glue down there. This is just a PVA glue. These two frames are going to have to be joined just so we get a little bit of um, an extra deep frame. There was nothing available that was deep enough to take the whole set of gloves. So the glue is all running around in there. Going to pop it together onto this other outer moulding. And then I'm just going to put a few staples in just to hold the thing all together. All the inside's going to be lined so that you won't actually see where these staples are holding the two frames together. It's just a reinforcement. And the glue there Put one right up in the corner. That's good. So yeah, what we've done there, I've run a few staples around the inside. We've got the glue on there. I just want to quickly check the front that we've got no glue coming out. A little bit there. We'll give that a wipe. So yeah, I can put this frame aside now. So then that'll give the time for the glue to dry while I'm making the rest of the box. So we'll come back in a tick and we'll have a little look at how we're progressing. What I'm going to do next is just mount uh, the red suede backing onto another piece of 10 millimeter adhesive foam board and the reason for that is that the 10 millimeter is going to give me some extra strength to be able to support this glove and then I'll stitch through, in fact we'll make a couple of holes and we'll put our um, the laces of the glove will go through the suede into the backing, we'll tie it on and then we'll put a stitch up through one of the laces here, in fact we might use a piece of stainless steel wire around and pull it down and in and hold it onto the backing backing board there. So we'll measure this up, come back in a second, I'll show you when I've got it ready to stitch on. 